Hello everyone, Blau Kiakov here, and in version 6.0, we've added Twitch tools to make your stream that much better. You can automate things from sending a clip to Discord, taking a clip anytime you get a new follower or sub, changing your stream title slash category, running a commercial, set subscriber, follower mode, all with chat commands, Twitch points, alerts, Twitch extensions, or any other way you use Lumia. Let's get started. So to begin, even if you already logged into Twitch, you're still gonna wanna do this. Go to connections, Let's add new connection and select Twitch. We're gonna press connect and now you'll be prompted to enter your permissions. Now you may not have all these permissions in the beginning because we just added more permissions for your Lumia Stream Mod tools, which we'll go over in this, this tutorial. So you wanna make sure all of these are selected and press next and connect to Twitch. After you're connected, just make sure you press refresh and you'll see Twitch show up in the platforms right here under connections. If we're all good to go, it'll show up green. Now you can use switch actions all throughout Lumia as mentioned earlier, but for us to keep things simple, we're gonna just stick to commands at the moment and we're just gonna add a command and you'll see the Twitch actions tab right here. So you'll see the different types you can choose. As mentioned earlier, you could change your stream title, category, you can set a clip, you can set a clip and then send it to Discord. You could set a clip and then send it to Webhook using normal JSON. Uh, you can also run a commercial, set subscriber, follower, emote, slow mode, unique chat mode, as well as clearing your chat. And then of course the delay as usual. So let's just start a stream. Just so we have things running and let's do change stream title. So let's say we wanna change the stream title to the message. So whatever the user puts in, we wanna change the title to that. So now we add Twitch, let's call this command title. We'll select no type because we don't want our light to change and we want this to skip the queue so people can change the chat as they see fit. We may want to cool down as well. And let's say we only want users or mods to be able to change our title. So I'm going to deselect all the other user levels and then just select that one. So we'll press apply, refresh. And now if we set exclamation point title, hey there you'll see our title change immediately to hey there. You can change it back to testing and you'll see it change to testing. So that's simple. You can even have a Twitch point set up for your mods or anybody else you wanna use. Then you can, you know, change your title if you want to. We can do the same thing for category. We'll use the same Twitch action. We'll edit it. We'll just change the title to change the category. And then it will choose the best category that it sees so if I do message again, save it, and I wanna name this cat. Let's name in cat, apply, refresh. And if we do cat, let's do Fortnite. And now I'll change my category to Fortnite. Now that's, you know, we won't go through every different type, but you get the idea, you know, you can set your commercials, subscriber modes, different things like that, all through Lumia. Um, but one thing that I want to show is how to send a clip to Discord. So as mentioned earlier, we have a full in-depth tutorial of our Discord webhooks and how to use them in various ways. So I'm just going to show a basic way of using it. And then if you want a more advanced way, you check out that tutorial. So I'm going to go to my testing channel. I'm going to edit the channel and I'm going to go to integrations. I'm going to go to view webhooks or it will say add new webhook. And then I'm going to create a brand new webhook. I'm going to call this Lumia Twitch Actions. You can call it whatever you want and then choose your channel and just make sure you copy your webhook URL. Press save changes. And if you want to add an avatar, you can do that as well. And now we're just going to enter that right here. And you'll see the discord webhook here. Now for the message, we want to say something like new clip taken. And then we just want to put the clip URL. So we'll put Twitch underscore clip. You'll see the variables show up here at the top, Twitch clip. And that's just the clip that, you know, the user has taken. So I'm gonna add that here. And now I'm gonna delete this change category. And now I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna press apply, refresh. And now if I put clips in, then we'll see it take a clip and it may take a few seconds, but then it will show up here. So it's really fast actually. So it gives the URL for the Twitch clip and it says new clip taken. Since it was so quick, there wasn't a thumbnail yet, but you see it right here. And as mentioned earlier, if you want to get more in depth, you'll use our other tutorial 
because you could have sent it as a regular webhook JSON and you could have used that, you know, events, colors and events formatting if you wanted to. One more thing you could do if you want to shout out who took the clip, you can use another variable called username. So new clip taken from from username and then you can post the Twitch clip so I can save that. Apply, refresh or clips in. And now if I go to Discord, it will say new clip taken from Lumia Cove just to give them their shout out. Uh, whoever took that clip, you could even have the avatar show up as the the webhook avatar URL in our other tutorial. <laughs> One other thing we really didn't mention because we didn't have a tutorial for it, but we also have a new stream live and stream offline alert. So anytime you know you go live, you can have an alert go off. Maybe you want to post in your Discord using the same way that we just showed. Um, or you can do a Lumia action, which we have here. We have seen the Discord anytime our stream goes live. We even write to a file in case we want to, you know, listen to it on OBS. And with using Lumia Actions, which is in another tutorial, you can even set and start stream mode as you see fit. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification because we will be posting a ton of tutorials to make the Lumia ecosystem a lot brighter and to make you stream brighter. So we hope you all have a luminous day.